Yo, what is up YouTube? Lee the Captain here, back again with another YouTube video on nothing other than Floki, the people's cryptocurrency, and shout out to all the Floki Vikings out there. And for those who are feeling Flokish, now you guys can show how powerful you are. You can make your voice heard. You can show how strong the Floki community is by signing and sharing a petition for Floki to get listed on the Robin Hood app. I have signed up for this petition myself and for you Floki Vikings out there who want to participate in this, I will link you guys to this tweet and the petition in the description below. Now, a lot of people often ask, hey, there has been a lot of petitions in the past where Floki attempted to get listed in Binance, Coinbase, whatever happened, right? Why is it not materializing? If you think about it, great things take time. And it starts with this, right? It starts with making our voice heard. It starts with understanding that the Floki Vikings out there believe in this long-term. They believe in Floki's utility. Understand that Valhalla has amazing potential. Understand that Floki touches the hearts of many through charitable organizations. Floki has amazing advertisement that can rival the likes of Crypto.com. They also have Floki Places, their own NFT marketplace, and they also have Floki University. When people often talk about the crowning jewel of Floki, they think about Valhalla. However, what I think about the crowning jewel of Floki, I think about its charitable organizations. I think about how they completed a school in Nigeria two months ago. They are changing people's lives. They are changing the world. They are caring about people around the world and focused on changing lives. Just think about it. What other cryptocurrency do you know is changing people's lives around the world? Floki is making an impact. They're creating a better education, giving better facilities for those in Nigeria. Just think about it. What other cryptocurrency is doing this? When you think about the great Robert Kiyosaki, what does he say? When you want something, you give it to someone. You don't lose by giving. When you help someone out, you know, it's you're just projecting good vibes, good energy around the world, and you're creating a better mindset for yourself. You know, when you help someone out, there is a feeling and satisfaction that can't be described. And that is truly something that I feel is so, so special of Floki going forward. In this world, when you help someone and that exact same person doesn't help you back, when you think about it in the grand scheme of things, that doesn't really matter. You're still projecting good vibes, good energy, and creating a good aura overall. Someone else in the future may actually help you because you helped that person. You created good vibes, good energy. So even though that exact same person didn't help you out, who knows that someone else that comes along later in your life that helps you out because you helped that exact same person out. If you take that same principle, you take that same mentality and you apply it to Floki, why are they helping out? you know, people in Nigeria. For example, they may, ne they may not necessarily be contributing to Floki's price. They not, they're not contributing to any of their growth, right? If you think about it. However, they're creating good vibes. They're creating good energy and they're taking a good aura, right? If you just, if they're just applying that same principle, understanding that when you give, you actually gain more. And the thing is, they understand that changing people's lives is for the better and just amazing overall. And what I realized from helping people out is that, you know, just a personal story time for me, it's just that many, many times in my life, I helped someone out, you know, and helping doesn't always have to mean financial, right? It could be just attention, you know, time, the effort you spend, or, you know, just guiding them, or just helping them out through a situation where you know someone, a connection, maybe you can help them get through, just whatever it is, right? It could, it could mean a lot of things. However, you know, I have helped people in my life where I thought, hey, you know, I helped them out, you know, I could have sworn, right? If I was down, they were gonna be the first people to be there, support me back, right? You know, return the favor. I always thought like, hey, you know, I could have sworn, right? However, when I was down, these people were nowhere to be found. They just kind of disappeared, essentially and didn't really care, didn't return the favor. You know, and honestly, when you feel like like that, right, when you help someone out and they don't return the favor, obviously it can feel, you know, you can feel distraught, right? You can feel betrayed. You can feel like, why did I waste all that effort? And essentially for me was, when that first happened to me, I was like, what, I'm not gonna help anyone out anymore because I felt like, you know, what's the point of helping people out if they don't wanna help me back? But what I realized was, when you help someone out, you're projecting good vibes, a good energy, you know, in the universe. And the thing is, you know, essentially in the future, someone else could help you out and return the favor on that person's behalf that didn't want to help you back. They're not necessarily doing it on their behalf, so to speak, but it's just because of the good energy you projected, all the good vibes, the good aura you put in the universe. You know, essentially it is going to come back to you 
and help you in a better way. You know, if they don't want to help you back, they want to betray you, it's fine, right? That's just their choice. They're creating bad energy. It's their problem. And what I realized was in life, you don't really lose by losing. Sometimes you help someone out. They don't help you back. Maybe in a year, two years, three years, even 10 years, you don't know when that favor is going to return back to you via someone else, right? Through someone else. You never know. So it's important to just put good vibes, good energy in this world. And that's what I personally realized just from my experience. So long story short, at least for me, you help people, you help them out, you know, you give to other people, you know, essentially you don't ever really lose from that if you just think about it. You may lose short term in terms of your ego, right? Maybe your mind is like, oh man, can't believe I did that. But if you just think in the long term, you think about just the positive energy you're bringing in this world and in this universe, it's actually going to be beneficial for you long term. So that's been it for today's video. Again, everyone make sure to sign and share the petition and show your support for Floki. And together, we as Floki Vikings will see each other at the mountaintop. It's been Lee the Captain, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. I'm out. Peace. Bye.